friends, it has surely been a while. As nature awakens this spring, I thought it the perfect time to consider the things in my own life that need to bloom and blossom once more. So I think you and I will be seeing a lot more of each other around these parts. Our wild violet patch is in full bloom. In my opinion, one of the best ways to create productive properties is to take advantage of all of the free medicine growing around you. Many of the plants we are taught to view as pesky weeds are actually medicinal with astounding health benefits. Violets are the star of our breast health salve that we sell in the shop because of their lymphatic support. Violets are also wonderful pain relievers. They're used in treatment of cancer, especially that of the throat or the tongue in the lymph system. They are detoxifying. They dissolve cysts. They encourage lymphatic flow. They're extremely high in vitamin C and they contain salicylic acid, which can be a pain reliever and it's also wonderful for skin ailments like acne. We dry the flowers and the leaves to infuse oil and make teas throughout the winter. This year, I am going to use the flowers and the leaves to make a violet tincture. I love tinctures because they're so easy to make and to take. Unlike infused oils where you have to use dried herbs to avoid inserting moisture into the oil which would cause botulism. With tinctures, you can use fresh, you don't have to worry about any of the moisture. In fact, you want the water content in the fresh. So I started by harvesting both the leaves and the flowers. I gave them a rinse to remove any dirt and then I gently ran them through a salad spinner just to dry. I then packed them tightly into a jar that I had washed with hot soapy water. We use an organic vodka for all of our tinctures because again, this is medicine and conventional alcohol is made from genetically modified and heavily sprayed grain and we want to avoid that as much as possible if we're going through all this trouble to extract the benefits of the violets, so we choose an organic version. This is not something I've ever tried, but I know that you can make tinctures with food grade glycerin instead of alcohol for those that are abstaining from alcohol for whatever reason. So I'm going to put a lid on this, let it sit in a dark cupboard for four to six weeks, give it a shake whenever I remember, and then I'm going to strain it out and store it in amber glass dropper bottles, take it by the dropper full as needed. My struggle with perfectionism has definitely hindered my creativity and I have to remind myself that my desire for perfection is natural but it's misplaced. God is holy and he requires perfection, but we all fall short of the glory of God. We are all marred by sin. No one is perfect except for Jesus. When we root our faith and our hope and everything in between in him alone, it's no longer about who we are and what we do, but it's everything about who he is and what he has done for us. We no longer have to toil anxiously for perfection, but instead we get to pursue excellency in our craft in the very season that the Lord has placed us for the glory of God, not the glory of ourselves or to prove ourselves. So that is my hope in my return to this space, that I would not be here just to charm you, but to do your household good and to do you spiritual good in sharing both the things that I am working on around the home and the things the Lord is working 
in my heart. So I will see you here again real soon, my friends. Take care.